Hi everybody, this is Teddy's Easy Recipe. Today I'm going to make a rosary. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, this is what I was using to make the beads and it didn't work. I ordered these things and they don't work. I'm not ordering anymore. So, goodbye. First of all, you need glue, your brush, a little bit of edible glue, which is this, in there. Easier to work with. Needle and thread. Of course, your little blade. Paintbrush. And of course, this, I'll show you what I use this for. And you need scissors. Excuse me, but I itch. Okay. Um, first of all, you start by you making a whole bunch of these little beads. If you can see, I've got extra ones I made last night. I made these last night and I let it dry for about an hour. To be honest with you, about a good hour and a half you let them dry. You take the needle and you stick the needle through the bead. Bring it out. Continue another one. Bring it out. Continue another one. Bring it out till you get enough. I made this rosary last night. This is how I'm going to show you. This is the rosary I made. So, what I did was, when you get through, let me clean this up. When you get through making, putting the beads through the rosary, I mean, I'm sorry, through the thread, you lay it on the table. You use your to separate, as you can see. I separated them. This is the rosary. And then once you get the beads all on, you want to take leave about two inches three inches of thread on one end and you want to leave like five inches on the other end five and five you can do okay the reason you're going to leave five on one is because when you get the rosary to make your circle you want to take the thread wrap it around wrap it around wrap it around take your brush glue it the reason you're going to put glue on it is so it can get hard and doesn't move and then you can add a little more glue when it dries again and put more so it's a little thick so your thread's wrapped around there. Then at the end, the other reason you want to leave another four or five inches is because you want to, you want to leave, of course, one, two, three, four, five beads at the end. See where I wrapped it around here? There's like five beads. But what you want to do is you want to take the cross, as you can see I got an extra one here I'm, I have made, and let's get this piece of thread off my finger so we can work. You want to take your knife on the cross, you want to put an indent in it, let's see there's an indent, this isn't the cross that I used down here, so this is just a sample to show you. You want to take the thread that's left from this end. You want to put it inside of the indent that you put, as you can see. Once you get that string laying across the indent, you take glue and you glue it on there. Your string is going to be locked in there with the glue. You want to put like two coats on it. You want to make it nice and let it dry. Add another one, let it dry. So when it's dry, the string that's at the end, the five inches that I told you, is in the indent. What's left on the bottom, you clip off. And there's your rosary. I hope I explained this a little better. What I want to do is I want to do is um, 
throw this over here. Kind of show you that. Okay. I want to bring. Just separating them a little so you can see. And you're going to have to separate these on and off for like two or three times till they're real dry. Till you get them more exactly where you want them. It dries really fast, so. But, there. Yeah. You can see, there is the rosary. You can see right here, there's a big space. But, that's the one you're going to move over. And you're not going to have that space anymore. So, let's see. I kind of got it tangled up right there. There. There's the rosary. All them spaces that you're seeing, like right here, once it dries, oops, sorry. Once it dries real good, you can move these down, move them down. See, they're kind of gathered right here. Once the other ones are dry, you got your rosary in, in place. I'm going to try to just do this a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. The reason they're moving is because I don't have enough glue in between them to stop them from... Stop them from moving, but like I said, once you put the glue on it, it okay. This is it. This is my rosary. Now, you could take the rosary and you can put whatever you want on it. Like I can't show you. I got them here. Mm -hmm. I don't have my I don't have my beads there. But you can put like little gold or silver candies on there. But here we go. I hope I explained this to you. See, you can move this one down, see? There. But, this is the rosary. So, if you want to... See, you can move these down. Move them down more. So, if you want to make a rosary... So if you want to make a rosary, here he goes. There wasn't one on the internet, so I thought I I make one to show you. But of course the cross should be a little straighter, but this is it. This is a rosary. Like I said, you take that needle and thread and keep putting the beads through the needle through each bead, and then when you get to the end, make sure you leave five inches right here at this end five inches at the beginning so that you can wrap it around here when you get to the end and the five inches are left here is where you put an indent on your cross and you put glue on it and it stays and there's your rosary well i hope i showed you how to make one i mean that's the best i can do but like i said i didn't see one on the internet and i figured that i do a video on it and I had to do it working with my iPod so bear with me all right thank you for watching my video and comment because I've been doing videos and I'm not getting any comments so I just kind of want to see where I'm at or how I'm doing if this helped anybody at all all right thanks for watching my video have a good day